What's going on, guys? Zuko back with another War Within video. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. We're going to talk about Enhancement Shaman. We're going to talk about Enhancement Shaman in the context of the reworks that have come through for all three Shaman specs. Of course, Enhancement got the least changes of anybody, but we're going to talk about why it's actually okay for Enhancement Shaman right now, okay? Um, the... Uh, my hair is blue, in case you're wondering. We did have a big event on Twitch yesterday, and I dyed my hair blue because of all the shaman changes that have come through. It's a little bit dark because my hair is just naturally dark, so we might dye it again. We'll have to wait and see. On the development notes from Blizzard, they talked about shaman, and obviously Resto Shaman and Ellie Shaman got really big, you know, reworks. And then Enhancement Shaman was kind of stuck in the middle, getting very, very few reworks. I understand people's frustration with this, but at the end of the post, the initial post on Shamans, Blizzard did say that there is more to come, okay? They are working, and there's, and there's going to be more updates in the future. I think most notably, people are going to be mad that all the two-point nodes still exist in the tree, um, like Hot Hand, like Static Accumulation, Legacy, Witch Doctors, Eli Assault, Primordial, uh, Primal Maelstrom. There's, there's like nine two-point nodes in the Enhancement Shaman tree still. They're one of the very few classes that still have that many. So we're going to wait and see. Hopefully updates are coming. Don't panic. I'm going to, I'm here to show you why the update was actually good for Shaman, uh, for Enhancement Shaman, what parts were good, even though I know part, a lot of it was bad. Okay. I'm, I'm aware of that. Maelstrom Weapon is now learned at level 10. You don't have to take it in the class tree anymore. And Feral Lunge is gone from the spec tree and is now baseline. This is actually a massive deal, and I'm going to show you why a little bit later. Flurry is now in the spec tree, which doesn't really make any sense. I, I think they're going to change that very, very soon. Elliot Blast Damage got nerfed because it was doing outrageous amounts of damage because of the, of the number of Feral Spirits that we can summon at the same time. Wind Fury Totem, Focus Insight, Refreshing Waters are all gone. Let's start with Wind Fury Totem. This has now become a raid buff, right? Sky Fury is now a raid buff. This is giving us 2% mastery and the Wind Fury effect all in one. It's not a totem that you have to put on the ground. It's a buff that you just refresh, and it goes to your entire party or raid. It goes to everybody. So this is a massive deal now. You don't have to put totems down anymore. No matter what build you're running as an Enhancement Shaman, if you're doing an Elementalist build, you're still getting the benefit of Wind Fury and a Mastery bonus, which increases your damage, right? That's what Mastery does. All your um, Fire Frost, Nature Damage, and your chance to proc Wind Fury, and your chance to proc Stormbringer. So Mastery is an amazing stat for uh, Enhancement Shaman, and the Wind Fury bonus is really good too. So that's a huge W. You don't have to take it in the spec tree anymore. You get it passively. You can give it to the whole raid, which makes you a more valuable pick for raid, right? Now, obviously, all three shaman specs are now more valuable in raid, which is really, really, really good, okay? Number two, our defensives have gone way, way up, which is really big deal. So Stone Bulwark Totem is really strong now, and you can actually take Totemic Recall as well in the class tree. And because there's all one-point talents, there's no two-point talents anymore at all in the class tree, that means you have a lot more flexibility with what you can take, and you're getting huge bonuses like Nature's Fury, which is 4%. Uh, crit for one point you get the defensive node six percent reduced magic damage taken you get your nature's guardian defensive here you can pick and choose a lot of other talents now because you don't have any two pointers that you're sinking your teeth into and it means you have flexibility to go get your new defensive totem and to recall it with totemic recall which means you can do this and then recall it and you can do this and now i have two bulwark shields at the same time now I have three of them. They keep refreshing. I think that's probably a bug, but let's pretend let's pretend like it wasn't bugged and you're only able to get two at a time, okay? I have a, a 1. Point, what is that? 1.3 million HP shield right now that keeps refreshing over and over and over again. This is no joke, guys. This defensive is very, very strong. It lasts for 30 seconds. You can spread it out over, over a minute, or you can put two down at the same time and have a huge shield for a moment when you really need it. So defensive-wise, Enhancement Shaman getting more defensives is a massive deal for our survivability and just really good in general for any melee spec. Okay? You also have things like Elemental Resistance, which means... You can put down a healing stream totem and give yourself a resistance to fire frost and nature damage. You can kick an enemy and get damage reduction to that school for 18 seconds and you can stack it up twice. So 30% damage reduction to whatever school of magic you have kicked. So lots of dungeons, for example, have basically one or two schools of magic that are in them. Like if you're doing 
um, a Nerubian dungeon, one of the new Nerubians ones, it's almost all shadow damage that they're dealing, right? So if you kick somebody that's doing shadow damage, you now have damage reduction against all shadow damage, which is awesome and really, really powerful. So this is number two. You know, you can also take your uh, Earth Ellie and get extra damage reduction there. Number, My second point is just that there are really strong defensive options now for Enhancement Shaman, and that is a huge W for the spec because it's going to allow us to survive in melee that was something that was really bad for Enhancement Shaman in particular. Now, the third and most important thing is that Feral Lunge is a baseline ability now. It's something you can just take and you're going to um, be able to increase your mobility in a huge way. So it's a 30 second cooldown and it dashes you towards an enemy. Let me just show you clips of me using this. And uh, I want to really emphasize how good this is because... I think it's just it's just really strong now. So this is from a dungeon that I was doing. This is the Stone Vault. I'm going to um, let me show you really quickly here. Let me just show you what my hair looked like while we were in the middle of dying. I'll just go over here. You can see two Zukos. That's what my hair looked like when we were dying it on stream, by the way. So this is an example. I want to show you a couple of examples of why Feral Lunge is actually such an amazing addition back into the Enhancement Shaman tree. So on this fight, you can see there's really, really limited space. I have to jump over here. I'm going to kick this guy, and then I want to dash back towards the boss. I was kind of slowed for a second there. And again, it would have taken me several seconds to get it, maybe three or four seconds of downtime to get over to the boss. So I was trying to kick this over here. I think I missed my kick, but now I'm slowed because I have the Molten Metal on me, but I can just dash to the enemy and reduce that downtime enhancement shaman really suffers if it if it has no doubt like if it has huge amounts of downtime away from a boss i really just want to emphasize how good this is it doesn't it might not seem like it's that good but i promise you this is really really good once again i'm going over here to kick this guy i'm gonna kick him boom that's good i we have the extra now i have to get out of melee um, because this guy's doing a frontal and I can't step on these lava puddles. So I have to back up and go to the left here and move away. And then I can immediately dash onto this guy and reposition. So it's, it's, it's subtle. It's small, but I promise you it's very, very good. And I think a lot of people are sleeping on how good this addition to the kit is going to be like having Pharaoh lunge is just going to be amazing. I'm telling you right now. On raid fights in particular, where you always have to reposition away from melee uh, mechanics that are going to kill you, this is a huge deal. Because normally, you would just have to walk back in very slowly and hopefully, you know, cast an instant cast lightning bolt if you have it or, or re refresh your flame shocks or whatever the case might be. Now, you have this option of running out of melee, throwing a lightning bolt out, and then jumping back in immediately and getting the damage going again. It's really, really strong, okay? I want to show you just kind of a semi-full fight here in a Mythic Plus dungeon. Um, we were really struggling this one, but the damage from Enhancement Shaman is really good. Even despite the fact that we didn't get any real rework, we didn't really get any real damage buffs, I would say, besides Feral Lunge, giving you that reposition. We're still doing lots of damage, guys. This is a Storm build with Tempest, and uh, we're doing lots of damage on a boss fight here. I'm telling you right now... Enhancement Shaman did not need anywhere near as much help as Ellie did or as Resto did. And the damage is just fine. I promise you it's just fine. This is me doing a Stormbringer build with Deeply Rooted. And it just feels fantastic. I'm telling you right now, this feels amazing to play. We're doing lots of damage. And uh, it, the addition of Feral Lunge being in there is going to really help to shore up um, some of the weaknesses that we have around mobility in fights and having to reposition around really dangerous mechanics that we we're forced to get out of. So I think Enhancement Shaman is actually in a perfectly fine position. Do I want them to change all the two-point talents? Yes, I do. I absolutely do, okay? Would I like for them to have added some really fun, new, colorful um, spells and abilities? Yes, I really wish that they would have done that. I wanted to see, like earth-based finishers like instead of a uh, lightning bolt or chain lightning it's like some sort of you know rock biter giga smash melee ability that would have been really fun but they didn't do that maybe they will in the future i think they're very very likely in the future to remove flurry and to make it baseline and then to also um change the two point nodes that are on our tree and make a lot of them one point nodes that that alone would be a big enough buff to make enhancement shaman incredibly strong because i'm telling you even without massive changes to the spec tree they're doing lots of damage right now on the beta in the war within okay so if you're worried about the state of enhancement shaman from a from a performance point of view do not be it is fine it, it if anything it's better 
You got better defensives. You got better mobility with Feral Lunge. And you have a raid buff now that you don't have to keep refreshing every time the tank moves to the next pack of mobs. You have to re you know, put down your win for your totem again. You don't have to do that at all. You just have an amazing raid buff that is really, really strong. So please, everybody stop dooming on Enhancement Shaman. It's actually good. It's in a good spot. It needs some more love from the developers. And I'm very convinced that we're going to get that over the next couple of weeks or into the early parts of the War Within. But right now, if I was to... Get, if we were going into the War Within today, with the way Enhancement Shaman is, it's in an incredible position. I promise you, it's looking really good, okay? Thank you so much again for watching, guys. I love you all. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about Enhancement Shaman, and I will see you in the next one.